Hello, today we have Christopher Gertyson, Executive Director and CEO of Nova Minerals Limited, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker NVA. Christopher, welcome back. Great to be with you again, Craig. Nova Minerals has a broad portfolio, Chris, with a focus, of course, on gold and antimony exploration. Start, please, with a brief overview of your current development work. Large project. 200 square miles of claims here in the state of Alaska on state of Alaska land. We have two gold deposits where we've defined globally almost 10 million ounces to date. And in addition to that, 20 other known prospects where we've made discoveries of not only gold, but as you said, antimony and many of the other critical elements that are so highly sought after these days. And we're advancing that pipeline of, of projects to uh, bring first cab off the rank, of course, is the gold and the antimony, but we know that there's other elements in there like uh, gallium, uh, indium, tungsten, but we're still further exploring for those, but gold and antimony for sure, large claim block will be out here for decades and decades with multiple mining centers at the end of the day. Chris, antimony much in the news these days. Let's turn to that for a moment. Your latest exploration season revealed exceptionally high grade antimony at that Stivium prospect. Now go more deeply into what this means for your resource development strategy and how does it elevate your market position? Well, you, you mentioned Stibium. And we're a, we're a gold company. We were exploring for gold out there. We found gold, we find gold, but you might say the antimony found us. What we see on the surface, not only at Stibium, but also at numerous prospects. Another one to mention there is Styx. The Styx prospect, we see massive Stibnite veining on the surface and very easy visually identified it. And this of course, with the antimony crunch in the market, China cutting off the United States, no US production that this has drawn a lot of interest, particularly from the U.S. government, the Department of Defense that wants to, that needs to bring, their mission is to bring and reestablish uh, U.S. production and bring that supply chain back to the U.S. They see us playing a major role in that. And with this antimony market the way it is at record high prices, it's a very lucrative opportunity for Nova Minerals. And we're really a first mover in this space here in the United States. And that's the opportunity for the investor. As you mentioned, antimony, super important. Also, in light of that export ban by China, US, and of course, EU too, too much reliant on imports of antimony. Tell us more, Chris, because it's so important how Nova is leveraging these discoveries, or as you said, antimony finding you to meet that strategic demand. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the United States is basically almost 100% import reliant in many, in many cases on foreign adversaries, right? And so being a first mover in the space and making these significant discoveries and drawing the interest of the Department of Defense, and I should also mention we're applying and we're currently quite advanced in our, in our, in our uh, submission of applications for Department of Defense grants part of the DPA Title III grant funding to do exactly that, bring these supply chains uh, back to the United States. Our mission is to not only mine, but to mine and refine that full supply chain. Mine it, concentrate it, refine it here in Alaska, create a state-of-the-art hub that'll not only feed the DOD, but also the U.S. industrial base over the long term and uh, bring that production back to, the, back to the United States, and Nova Minerals is at the center, to, center of that effort. Turning now to the recent sale of your shares in Snow Lake Resources, Chris. This significantly strengthened your balance sheet. How will this increased fi uh, financial flexibility accelerate your exploration and development efforts? Indeed, so that Snow Lake sale, we always intended to do that. Uh, that was always a liquid asset, and we've tapped into that along the way since the IPO. And so now we currently are debt-free, and we have $10 million in the bank. So that is to fund us this year and beyond for our gold exploration. With our gold, we're in the 
feasibility study stage currently. So we're advancing that project. We see production on the horizon, cash flow in our sites on the gold side. And then with the DOD grants that we're going for, if that comes to fruition, that'll only further fill our coffers to then go after the antimony as well. So it's really a, a double a double header here, right? A double header here. So very cashed up. It's going to be an exciting big season for us uh, as we move rapidly into production and cash flow. Chris, it's a new year, 2025. Investors are eager for updates. What milestones should they be looking out for this year, especially regarding resource definition at Stibium and exploration at RPM and Stony? So our, on the gold side, we are laser focused on RPM, getting that into production. It's a very advanced project. Uh, we have resources already defined there. We're working on the feasibility study and to get that out to the market as soon as possible. I mean, that's the first step, big milestone in this business to then move into uh, the bridge period, a definitive feasibility study and construction and production. So that's that's on the gold side, laser focused on RPM. On the antimony side with this DOD grant, I keep I keep mention, mentioning we intend to do drilling out there this year, define our resource and our reserves to then bring that into production as well as soon as 2026. The potential exists for that. At that Stibium prospect, our target there is at least thousands of tons of ounces of antimony at current record prices of $40,000 a ton, quite a lucrative opportunity uh, for the company, obviously. And so that's that's the objective, drilling this year, lots of drilling and getting these feasibility studies out to get into production here in the, uh, in the, in the medium term. All right, Chris, let's wrap up now with the essential value proposition. Tell our viewers, why should they take an interest in Nova Minerals right now? So, so many reasons. We're, we're, we're in, in, in Alaska with all the geopolitical and sovereign risk in the world, being in a favorable jurisdiction on state land, no federal land of na or native title land here to contend with, much more streamlined permitting process. And then we, we, we talked about it over and over, and I'll just reiterate, gold and antimony, both at historical high prices and moving higher rapidly, moving into a, a bull markets in both of these, both of these uh, commodities. We're in the right place at the right time with the right commodities. It's a great story, Chris. Thanks for the update. Thanks for having us.